Hi everyone and welcome, welcome back to another video. And so today's video I'm going to be doing a reading vlog. So it's actually been a while since I've done a reading vlog. It'll be the first reading vlog that I'm doing in 2023. So this is exciting. Now I'm gonna try and do a 24 hour readathon, but I don't know if that would happen. But my TBR for this video of what I'm planning on reading is Five Survive by Holly Jackson, which is her newest release. And I'm so excited for this because it sounds so good. I'm excited. So on the back of this, it says, you can't see me, but I can see you. If you try to run, I will shoot. So from the sounds of this, of like what I read from the synopsis, it's about, um, I think it was, was it five people? Oh no, six friends. And they get stranded in the middle of nowhere and one of them ends up dead. Um, and I think it's supposed to be that one of the friends are doing it and they've got to figure out who it is before that anyone dies. I could be wrong, but so excited for this. I've been waiting for this to release for a while now and I'm finally glad it's in my hands. And then the next book I want to try and get to is The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. So this is also Lynn Painter's new release, which I'm so excited to read. It shouldn't take me long actually because it is quite short. This one shouldn't either, to be fair. So I actually have no idea what this is about to be honest. Um, I'm going to try and go into it blind, but I'm so excited for this because better than the movies, I rated 4.75 stars. I actually love that. I read it so fast, so I'm hoping that I will love this the same. So those are the two books that are on my TBR for now. I might be able to read more. I might not, but I'm not going to pressure myself because if you watched my 2023 reading goals, you know that I'm trying not to pressure myself to read for like videos or anything like that so yeah i'm just going to say i'm reading these for now and if i read more great so i'm going to add a timer on uh, my phone in a minute i haven't got my phone with me when i start reading and i think i'm going to start off with five survive because i received this yesterday and i was supposed to start it yesterday but then i got a really bad headache so i am going to start this because i'm very very excited for it so yeah that is what I'm going to go and do now, and I will be back with you all shortly. Okay, so I've got 145 pages into this and so far it is really enjoyable and very attention grabbing which is good and something I need now considering I feel like I'm going in a reading slump and hopefully this will get me out of it. That's at least what I'm hoping. But this is about three, almost 400 pages so I've still got quite a lot to go but I'm very intrigued of like who it is and what's going to happen next. And that's me saying stuff without spoiling. So I'm going to go and continue reading this now because it's getting really good. Okay, so I've now finished Five Survive. This book shocked me. So I rated it 4.75 stars. Now, you are probably shocked because I said I was, well, I think I said it anyway. I think I said I was expecting to rate it five stars, which I was. But there was, near the end, there was a bit that dragged on a little too long for me, and that's why it wasn't a four or five star. Um, plus, I'm not a big fan of Oliver. Which is shocking because you think it would be the other person, if you read this, you think it would be the other person or the other people. But no, I did suspect who it was like halfway through the book for reasons. Obviously, I'm not going to say it because this is not spoilery. But yeah, I did suspect who it was, but I was just shocked about how everything happened and how it, how can I say it without a spoil? How it was all kind of linked in a way and how there was like hints within the book that you have to be quite smart to get and half of the time I didn't so yeah um love this book so much and I highly recommend it I did love on Goodreads I'm surprised that like some people haven't read it if that makes sense like some people that you would expect to read it haven't love this book Holly Jackson did it again 
and I can safely say that like a good girl's Greta Mando was amazing but so is this and I'm going to forever be recommending this book again this is definitely probably a new favorite thriller of mine which is well more mystery which is great love it so the book I'm going to be starting now is The Do-Over. This is nice and short. I also forgot to tell you how long it took me. So the timer for the first book is, we read it, 4 hours and 28 minutes. So it did take me a little bit longer to read that than I expected. I'm going to go and start this now and I will be back with an update. So I am now 50 pages into the do-over and it's already interesting. So it starts off with Emily like living her day, like with Valentine's Day, and she's excited for it. And then she finds her boyfriend cheating. And then the next chapter is her reliving it. So I'm gonna guess that you're gonna see like different versions of that day and she's having to like relive the whole experience. Now I don't know why she's uh, having to relive the whole experience or anything like that yet. Obviously I'm only 50 pages in. But it's interesting so far and I I want to know why is she reliving the same days over and over again. Because her day ended with her going to her grandma's, falling asleep and then she's woke up thinking it's the next day but everything is happening exactly the same. So it's interesting. Yeah, I'm going to continue reading this. This is only 285 pages, so it shouldn't take me long to read at all. And I'm hoping to finish it in one day. So, we'll see. But yeah, it is very interesting so far. I'm now 150 pages into the do-over and from what I'm getting of it so far it's about Emily and she is having to and she is having to basically live Valentine's Day every single day which I told you in the last clip uh, but she's changing it so she's trying to make things happen differently to the way that she wants it to happen kind of and she's doing that every single time she's reliving it and trying different things so it's interesting because i thought i would i thought i would enjoy it but i thought it would be kind of like repetitive because obviously when you hear that you're reading about the same like someone living the same day that's what you naturally think but it's not you are getting loads of different like storylines and so many different things so it is very good at the moment it's looking like a four star for me but i've still got like over 100 pages left i'm gonna go read some more and hopefully something more interesting will happen okay so i've now finally finished the do-over and this i decided to rate four stars it was very very interesting and it was different because it was showing you like her living at the valentine's day like different every single day but then there was the last valentine's day where it like it was longer and everything changed and it was this is a spoiler but it's when she decided to be bad like do bad things because she's always been good her whole life and she was like you know it'll all be the same again tomorrow and then it's it's not it the day changes the next day to february 15th so then she has to like basically live her con like consequences but she thought she would get away with everything so yeah it was very very interesting i love this so much and it was great um the ending as well was so sweet loved it i just love the way everything turned out and i love the fact that every single vow of the day was different because in some books they're always similar but every single Van Times was different and the connection between her and Nick was great and the way you see 
their relationship like grow every Valentine's Day is also great. So yeah, I just love this book. So I don't know what. Oh yes, I do. The timer actually stopped at six hours, like on the dot. I want to try and see if I can get it off. Well, not on the dot, but six hours. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. Six hours and five seconds. That's pretty good. Um, so the do over it took me about two and a half hours to read and then five survive took me i think the timer said three and a half hours or something like that so i'm reading these books quite quickly the next book i'm going to read and i'm actually going to listen to this one i think um well start listening to it and then physically read it more tomorrow maybe that's my plan we'll see um because it's actually six in the morning and i haven't been to sleep so i've actually Dentally, kind of like pulled an all nighter, um, but anyway, so I'm gonna try and read Accidentally Amy by Lynn Painter, believe it or not, which I didn't realize until I decided that I wanted to read that next because I actually wanted to read it in December, but I just never got around to it. So now's the time, and it's only 224 pages, I think it's on Kindle Unlimited, which is also great. So I'm going to listen to the audiobook and actually follow along with the story because my brain's just everywhere at the moment doing really well with the reading at the moment which is good so yeah i'm going to go and read a little bit of this and i will most likely give you an update in the morning or whenever i get it or whenever i can but yeah it'll be tomorrow Okay, so I've now finished Accidentally Amy, and this was nice and quick and short, um, and very, like, cutesy, kind of, so I did give it two and a half stars. It wasn't quite a three, because in the middle, I kind of started to get bored a bit, but then near the end, it was started to get interesting again. I heard some people say that there was some spelling mistakes and punctuation mistakes in this. I didn't see that. I don't know if it's being, like, fixed or whatever, but I did read it on my Kindle, so... I'm not sure about that, but me personally, I didn't see any, uh, which is good because that would have kind of annoyed me a little bit. But yeah, either way, I did enjoy it. It was a nice, quick read to add for my reading goal. The next book I'm going to be reading is Ghosted. So this has been on my TBR since last year, and I'm just going to finally get to it and read it. I'm not quite sure how long this will take, um, but heard so many good things about it and so i'm just gonna go and start reading it now okay so it's a couple of days later and i did read some more of ghosted i got eight to two pages into it but i just i wasn't in the mood to read it and i felt like it was kind of putting me in a reading stump so i just decided to stop reading it but i did hit the 12 hour mark so i suppose technically i've completed the challenge so that will be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you want, it's free. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.